The backward approach is the easier and less intimidating method for getting down a high obstacle. The greatest risk is a backward tip if you do not shift your weight forwards or if you stop suddenly. Another potential problem is catching your footrests on the higher surface once the drive wheels are down. Begin by turning your wheelchair so the drive wheels are leading towards the edge of the obstacle. Looking over your shoulder, propel backwards until the drive wheels are close to the edge. Make sure they are an equal distance away so that one wheel does not go down before the other. Keeping your bum back in the chair, lean forwards as far as you can comfortably and grip the push rooms far out in front of you. You will need to keep your trunk forwards throughout this skill or the wheelchair will tip backwards. Gently push the chair backwards until the drive wheels begin to roll off of the surface. Gripping the push rooms firmly, slowly release your grip and allow the push rooms to gradually slide through your hands as the drive wheels drop down onto the lower surface. Still leaning far forwards, continue to roll the chair backwards until the casters drop down to the lower surface. Be careful that your footrests do not get caught on the higher surface. With the forwards approach, we will wheel off the edge of the obstacle while popping the front casters. At first, this may not seem logical or safe. However, the biggest risk with coming off a high obstacle is having your footrests or casters land on the lower surface, stopping suddenly, and pitching you forward out of the chair. In addition, when your casters land first, it is a much harder and uncomfortable landing. Instead, we'll wheel towards the edge of the obstacle and pop the casters slightly so that the drive wheels land on the ground first or at the same time as the casters. The key is to combine enough caster pop and enough push to get the drive wheels onto the lower surface. The forwards approach is similar to the motion method for getting over an obstacle. You want to roll towards the edge of the obstacle and when the casters are close, shift your weight back and pop the casters. Continue propelling the chair so the drive wheels roll over the edge of the obstacle and land on the lower surface at the same time or slightly before the casters do. Your caster pop needs to be sufficiently high that the casters don't land before the drive wheels.